In this lesson, when you're at the machine, I'm going to show you how to correct for angle corrections into the database and bend deductions into the database. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to correction, then we'll go to bending part database. And in here there's a few things we can do. We can change our material thickness. If our material was programmed at 135 but maybe it was really 132, we can change that there. So now it changes it to 132 at the top. If you've got a film on the material, you can add in for that and uh, adjust for any film on there. But most importantly is we can adjust for a radius factor and a set point value for our flange length. So once we get this in here, so we've got our bend angle, once we're positive in our other steps and our other lessons on how to correct for it to be 90 degrees with our deviation, we can save that to the database. So if we now have this angle set at 90 degrees, we can go down here and say save bend angle. And then if we actually had our correct flange length, if you were to measure that in there, say it actually came out 1.995. We can enter that in there. We've got in our uh, correction now, 1.995. Right, I typed that in the wrong spot there. So now we're going to go 1.997 is what the flange was. It actually it measured 1.995. It just changed our bend allowance. So now we can save the bend allowance to our database and that's going to go ahead and build the database. So next time we run with this tooling and this sheet thickness, uh, it's going to make it more accurate from the first part on.